I'm not really sure what message to give, but I'm being pushed to keep, to keep it spicy. Um, because that fire energy is just, is one thing that I have to give when, even though I'm like feeling drained right now, somehow I managed to pull it out. So I hope that this message resonates with the right person. I believe that every human here is on a spiritual journey. You are a spirit in a human vessel learning lessons here, but we are all on different, we have different paths. We have different lessons to learn. We have different, journeys um but so i i can only speak from what i've been through i and i'm not so but for me the life has been completely different since since my awakening and continues to be completely different. continues to surprise me in beautiful moments and in very, very, very painful, difficult moments. And so you don't get, there's a lot of that emotional roller coaster. There's a lot of, um, tower moments. There's a lot of having to surrender and let go. Um, there's a lot of having to stand in your power. Um, there's a lot of just, you learn discernment as you go. Um, but the thing that oh, that stands out to me above everything is that, and it's interesting because there's, you learn, you learn so much about the, there's so much about somatics in the body. Please keep me on track. I'll stay on track. Okay. But for me, it always comes back to the mind. Like it's, it's both. It's not, but it's like, sometimes I think that what we see is from the heart. And then other times I think it's from the mind and maybe at some point we'll really have an understanding, but maybe not. Um, nonetheless, we are in control of the perspective that we see and we are in control of how, how we allow, how we shift that we're in control of how we manage our emotions and, there are many, many tools and I will like find a breath work, find a breath work, um, um, facilitator or learn about, you can learn it on your own and learn how to take deep breaths. Meditating is both of those. If you just do both of those, you might not even need anything else. Um, it just depends on what you like walking in nature, grounding. I mean, that could, we could, we could have a whole talk about that, like different things you can do, essential oils, things that since, since that, help ground you. Some people say drinking tea is like, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do that getting off your phone, you know, like not having, not scrolling on social media. There's millions, not millions, but there's tons of stuff that you can do that help you release the mind, come back into your body, come back, calm your nervous system. Um, Okay, so let's come back, circle back around. So to me, that's what it comes down to, though, is more more than anything, is that how we manage the upheavals, how we how we manage our own emotions, how we allow ourselves to uh, 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 like what perspective of life that we are we are seeing, and that we are in control of that, and no one else can actually do that for you, and that that's. The, the the biggest thing that helps um that's the biggest part of this journey because there's going to be beautiful moments there's going to be amazing moments there's going to be moments of connection there's going to be hopefully i hope everyone 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 experiences joy at some point there's going to be these blissful moments and then there's going to be really insane hard moments and things that are just not in your control and who, we don't know if you could have created it it could have been fake something else like the, the weather like all kinds of things that we experience that you come into contact with and you're like I don't know if I manifested this like it could be it because there's lessons like there's just that's just that's me like I do believe that we have free will but I also I believe in both I believe that we have free will and then there's also this this higher path that we are taking and that there's things that are not in our control. And because how would we 
stay in line. How we, it's like this duality. We need things outside of us that, that push us and challenge us. And so I don't know that, but those are just, that's from my journey and those are my beliefs. And because like right now they're so, I could easily spiral out right now because I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm going to take care of our financial situation. We, I need to figure out how to get us out of the place that we're living in and get us to a better place. Um, I don't know who I have to support us. Um, just yesterday, Teddy was like, wants to do this, wants to do that. And he's getting bored and I can't handle everything that's on my plate right now. And I could easily, easily spiral out because it's very overwhelming, but staying grounded and doing whatever I have to do to stay balanced is the best thing that I can do. And I don't know what the next steps are going to be for sure. And there's a lot of that of like letting go and allowing, allowing the universe to kind of guide you. And I'm not an expert in that area. Cause again, all of us are just learning as we go, you know, too. Um, but I know for sure trying to control things that we're not meant to definitely causes explosive moments. Um, at least for, again, for me, that's how it's happened. So there's a tough hand and I know if I'm feeling a lot of intensity that there's got to be other people who are as well. So I wanted to just preface that with things that have helped me because there, I don't think that there's anything more powerful in this universe than calm. Like, if you can be calm through whatever you're going through and it's interesting because stagnancy isn't isn't actually good so it's not it's, it's not that it's not stagnancy but remaining calm whatever's going on that's that's like calm or stillness someone said silence and stillness calm those all of those things are like the highest power that you can have here as a human because we're living in chaos. Like we're living in a tumultuous environment, you know, we're living in unknowns, unknown territory. So and we're moving through that. So calm and stillness are your greatest ally. Um, so I hope that that helps somebody. All right. Cause we have an interesting hand. So our eight of swords here is reversed. So that means that you're coming out. You're not feeling the mental turmoil or you're not feeling trapped in the mind. So that's good, but you're struggling. We have, we have queen of swords and queen of cups reversed. So you're struggling with your emotions and you're struggling with your judgment. Um, you're struggling to trust yourself. Um, we have four of wands and the page of wands reversed. And we also have the queen of wands upright. So, we have the Empress on the bottom as well, and we have Judgment. So you're feeling down for sure. You're not, or you're just, you're not really, not feeling down. You're just struggling to, to cope, which is, again, I've been that, well, that's why I'm saying that today. I get that too, like that. It's like if you make one wrong move, you're going down. <laughs> but it's, that's that feeling, it's that feeling of like that overwhelm and if the pin drops type of thing. You're going to lose it or something. Um, but your, your, your creativity and your, um, let's sit with this for just a minute. Um, judgment, judgment's being called for something. And that's the stuff that we don't have control over as well. That's why I'm, I, for me, it's, I, I can't, I don't know if I'll ever change my mind that I believe that there are other forces that this higher plan that, that plays out as well, because things will happen and you're like, okay, well, that was out of left field. You know what I mean? Like, um, I had all these thoughts about energy as well today that I don't want to get into too many different things, but there's a lot of that too. Once you're awakening is that once you start to detach from people, there's so much of that sourcing your own energy and that's where meditation and breath work are. And you, that's why you have to be in ritual and you have to do these things every day because it's, it's hard and it's, and I'll, I'm, it's hard. It's hard. Many, many days right now are hard for me to stay motivated. So I, I don't have the answers there, but this is telling me, this is, this, this is like the representation of Shakti 
of that. This is the creative force that drives the universe. And even though we live in a very masculine world, go figure. Um, because we can't survive. That's what's so wild about that is it's like we can't survive here without both. But nonetheless, um, so to me, this is a reminder that this force is always there. This all is kind of like that Kundalini at the bottom, at the coil of your bottom of your spine, if you believe that. But it's sort of like you have that fire that's always burning. It's just like sometimes it feels like it's put out. Sometimes it feels like there's nothing left. Um, and then it's the, in these moments that, you know, you do just have to do whatever you need to do to rest your mind, to come back to calm, come back to that stillness and let them, let the mud settle so that you can know that there's, things are always going to be shifting. Again, we live in chaos, like things are always shifting and the waters are going up and down, but it's hard. It's hard for us as humans. Like I'm in that weird place of like, I, I want to be, I want to give something inspiring, but it's hard when you're going through it too, you know, it's like, I don't have all the answers. I don't think, cause I don't think anyone does, but, um, being calm and still and patient, it's scary. I mean, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't, I, I love calm and stillness. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gifts, but I, I don't like feeling like I don't have control in anything. That's very scary for me to me. So that's just me. That's the areas that may be in, <laughs> vulnerable and honest um but that that you we do have to remember that things are always shifting and changing and so if you can be calm your mind through whatever you're going through and try to calm your nervous system and that's when you start to you need you realize you you can't really function anymore without these tools if you're on an awakening journey and you're actually dealing with all of those repressed emotions that are coming up um and then you know your outer world is shifting and changing and stuff like that um, it is very interesting and I don't want to make this too long, but it's very interesting how it seemed like a lot of things were easier in a sense. It felt like I was running on a hamster wheel, but it felt like things were easier when I was in more of that egoic control because my environment stayed this, I, that control that I was creating, I guess, kept my, kept things going, but, but things will still happen. Karma can still play out. Like that's where... Again, I don't I don't feel like you can't say that there are there are other things that happen because it's like my life has just been so upheaval so many times. There's been so many things that I've been through that were like maybe I did create that before I came here, but I couldn't have fathomed it <laughs> now, you know, in this vessel now. So uh, I just had to go to deal with this. I did not have had to just navigate. It. I mean, I deal with that all the time with my kid and stuff like that. So, and I know that surrender and all these things are, are, were meant for that for a reason, because once you kind of take that path with your, the journey with God and you want to open your heart again and you want to, you want to take that journey it is a lot about surrender and patience and acceptance of light the fact that life is crazy sometimes and um and then I do think that I, I fully believe that and that's why it's like for me like my energy I'm like that's so important to me now it's like I have to do whatever I need to I want to manifest this life that's nurturing so that I'm not drained all the time or I'm not always um you're driven to that you're driven to create that life that nurtures you and your energy so that you can pour from that full cup because to be in selfless service you do have to be we do have needs like we still have needs that need to be met and like for me right now it's like there's too much on my shoulders to keep um my cup full so it's like some things have to change so that that I I can feel more supported again you know so that was really drawn out for that but um yeah, the tools like meditation and breath work are hugely helpful and staying calm through whatever you're going through to know that it's going to be okay. And uh, that's all I've got. That's all I've got for like a positive. Yeah.